it's gonna take me a while to get used to looking into the camera but I'm trying you guys requested it on Instagram if you're new here hi my name is Crystal Heredia I'm a Latina blogger over on Instagram and I'm now trying to pave my way onto YouTube so if you are interested in watching me vlog at home goods and also just all of my other shopping adventures today stick around it is Sunday but when you are watching this it probably won't be so happy whatever day it is for you depending on when I edit this and upload it but I'm heading out because I want to help my brother and his wife decorate their new apartment so I offered to do their entryway as my housewarming gift so stick around I'm gonna go to home goods hopefully I find some good things and that's pretty much it so I will meet you guys there from the pain in the past in a sea plenty weak that you haven't made me stronger I don't care Alright guys, we made it. I have a mask on so I'm probably going to sound a little muffled but there is no line thankfully so I'm gonna go in and hopefully they have some really good stuff to choose from I always love coming here to find stuff for my kitchen for super cheap like wooden tools and all of that good stuff coasters let's see if they have marble ones this is so nice major score oh my god all right 100% my favorite aisle and a few of these are going on today with me I feel like if these had circular tops they would be nicer but they're like a stone bottom really cute for nice stands but I feel like if this was circular it would be better I don't like the oval shape of it they're like wiped out of all lamp selections which is annoying because I'm on the hunt for like a huge lamp for the master obviously not what I came here for but one at home goods right <laughs> so I feel like we found the council for the refresh I'm just waiting on a price on it but this is more their style so hopefully they come back with a good price because I feel like this would look really good in the entryway guys so i left home goods there was a little bit of drama not even gonna lie so i'm sitting in the parking lot of crate and barrel because i'm gonna go in there before i head to my brother's house because his wife just texted me they're ordering sushi for lunch because that's just what we do and so i'm trying to skate over there before mine gets cold so i found the perfect council table if you guys could see it in the back i picked it up and when I found it, it didn't have a tag on it. So I saw one of the guys that worked there and I was like, hey, um, can you just price this up for me? Because I really like it. I want to get it. Like, what do you think it is? Like, how much do you think it is? So he was like, ah, oh, probably like 150 through 180. So I'm like, well, which one is it? Because that's a big gap. So he went to find a similar council table. And I just realized this whole time I was looking in the viewfinder. So sorry for that, guys. I am adjusting. I will get there. So... He went, found a similar council table and got the price on it. And then he came back to me. He's like, okay, it's going to be 160. So I'm like, done. I loved it. It's a raw edge wood council table. It's worth way more than that. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get it. Can you bring it to the front for me? So he's like, of course. So he brought it to the front for me and I finished shopping. Like I finished looking through all the aisles and I went to check out. So I got to check out and I told a girl, Hey, a guy brought up a council table for me. Did you see it? And if you did, can you please um, just run the number so that um, I could check out? So she goes to see the council table. She brings back a little sticky note. She's like, okay, it's $200. And I was like, um, actually he made a tag for me and he said it was 160 so is there any way that you can just see like maybe that's the wrong sticky note so she's like all right no problem so she went back to it super nice like the girl was so nice she went back to the table which was like of course all the way down the row of cash registers so i couldn't really hear what was going on and she comes back with her manager and her manager's like actually like she didn't even know me she didn't know the context of the conversation that i had had with the cashier prior she's like actually that table is 200 and 
I'm not sure where you're getting this price from and I was like actually I got it from your associate who priced it up for me and put a tag on it so she's like mm, yeah he was wrong he probably didn't look at the number on the bottom he probably didn't even bend down and I was like mind you the guy that had made the tag for me he was heavier in weight so automatically me being plus size I I was like guard up hold on you're rude as hell so my I wear my emotions on my face so I was like actually he did bend down and he looked at the numbers and priced it up so she was like well I guess I'm just gonna have to call him over here and I looked at her I'm like excuse me it's really not that serious and if that's the case I'll just leave it I don't want to get anyone in trouble which is the truth like first of all it's Sunday let's just have some grace and relax and second of all I don't want to get him in trouble if it is $200 and he maybe made a mistake but like the way she was just approaching the whole situation and even me and I was so patient because I'm just like sometimes you just have to roll with the punches you don't know what somebody's going through so I'm just like all right whatever so she called him over and um he was like yeah like what's up she's like you priced this for 160 and it's 200 dollars and he's like oh i'm sorry you know she goes you i bet you didn't even use like the SKU number and he's like actually i did and she didn't even know what to say and i looked at him i'm like i'm so sorry i didn't want to get you in trouble like i told him it's not that serious and he basically said something along the lines of like this isn't the first time like this happens a lot which makes me so sad but i mean at the end of the day she gave me the table for 160 but I just thought she was just so rude for no reason I was I was in my own opinion I was really sweet and then even when the manager left the cashier was like I am so sorry that she acted like that so apparently this isn't the first time that she you know acts out like this in front of customers which I think is very unprofessional especially if you're a manager of the store so that sucks and it actually is like one of my favorite home goods in Westport Connecticut if you guys are from around here you know that home goods is legit they have the best stuff so pretty much a bummer um, but it doesn't I mean it's not gonna stop me from not going back because they always get the best stuff um, but yeah I wanted to tell you guys that before I go into crate and barrel I'm here right now I'm really excited to see what I can find hopefully I can find some knickknacks I didn't find a mirror for my brother's council um, it's gonna be hard I feel like this is gonna be the project that never ends because there wasn't a mirror in home goods the only circle mirror I found was silver and I want one black to match the council behind me I hope you guys can hear me I'm sorry if my ear was too strong it's just what is it it's 80 degrees it feels like it's like 100 um so yeah I'm gonna go into crate and barrel see what I can find I hopefully can find um a circle mirror this coming week I'm not even gonna rush it today but at least I got the council, so that's like one part of this whole project that is done. So I'm gonna got to my brother, so he's coming down. Hopefully this fits in the shopping cart that he's gonna bring down for us to be able to bring it upstairs because this thing is heavy. But I'm excited, and then you guys know that I went into Crate and Barrel. I just got an air plant, so I'm gonna bring that up too. But first, this has to go up, then I have to go park and then um, bring in the other stuff that I got to style it but I wasn't able to score a mirror which is annoying so I'm hoping once we eat lunch they'll be down to I think go to Ikea or something to find a mirror but I hear him coming down hold on let's see I'm like parked in the middle I hope the legend I'm vlogging Steve <laughs> do you think it'll fit hold on i want to show this is the cart we're going to try to fit this in sideways right it'll fit okay you said move it lift because it's on it. Oh, I got it. All right. Innovative. Genius. Using your head. I love it. And I love those chanclas. <laughs> Here, bring it down a little bit so that let's go up the side of this when I put it down in there. Right here? Look at that. I knew it. Perfect. So I'm going to go park and I got to bring the other shit in. 
Hold on, what other shit? Just small stuff. I got stuff what? to style it. The bag, you say? There's Steve. Just put it inside here. Open. What? This door. Park on the side. And come through here? Yeah. It's hot. I'm hungry. Oh, the food's here already. I'm trying to catch the good light because my forehead. Let's see if I can set this here. Alright, so that can be there just because I'm parking. So don't come for me. Alright. I'm going to back out. Park the car and go upstairs so I can help him set up the um, table. And he's so annoying. He's literally, he's staring there waiting for me. So annoying. Guys. And nobody say that I look like my brother. Because if you do, we're scrapping. Oh, he's going to put the code for me. <laughs> All right. Guys, he ordered sushi. Him and his wife ordered sushi. Her name's Isa. You guys maybe will meet her. I don't know if she's gonna wanna be on camera. He's so annoying. He's he's literally judging so hard, guys. This is why I didn't wanna do YouTube for so long. My brothers are ruthless. They, all right, that's the phone. All right, so that's your update, friends. I'm gonna go in and um, set up with them. I need to eat. I'm gonna definitely show you guys what we're eating. They ordered lunch. So I will meet you guys. Wanted to show you guys. So there's a huge entry wall. I'm thinking a really big black circle mirror. I can't find one anywhere. I know they have them at Ikea, but they're sold out. Home Goods didn't have any, so I feel like I'm gonna have to order it, but looks good. Two baskets are gonna go underneath. Possibly a taller lamp that can sit and rest. And then on this side, books with the air plant that I got at Crate and Barrel. You were eating my, my salad. So <laughs> You were eating my so salad. So good. Hold on. I'm facing it this way so I don't show. Oh, that's Guys, fine. do you see this glorious lunch? Thank you, guys. So no. Much. Thank you. Mm. You're going to be on YouTube, Steve. All right, let me turn it. I'm my good hair, you know what I'm saying? I do my hair, I do my eyelashes. The lighting is great in here. No, we changed the bulb on this one. Wow, wow. guys. Wait, I want to show them Isa's job, right? Isa, you did this? Yo, you need to relax. Can I get some credit? So, this place is huge. And my brother's wife went to work. Let me turn it. So good, Isa. I looked for pillows at Home Goods, but I couldn't find any. That's why I want to go to IKEA to get the bigger ones, just to put on the corners. But so good. This lamp looks great here. Yeah, let's look at the balcony really quick, and then I gotta eat because I I only had a bar today. This is starving. The first thing I yeah, well, I can't wait, guys. Look at this balcony. Beautiful. It's so big. So they already have some furniture up here, but I'm up to something. I always have my plans. I really want to help my brother get this like vibes out. I love home decor and I always want to decorate something and my space is like done. So if I can come over to another space and help, I'm always down for it. So. Right, guys finally home in time because it just started to thunder and as I was coming home let me set this down hold on. as I was coming home it started to rain so we are home just in time and I wanted to show you guys what I got so these were the first scores so the mirror I actually was able to get one of my followers on Instagram. She's so sweet, found it for me, put it on hold, and I was able to score that. So I will show you guys that for my brother's reset when I record that. So I'm gonna go back over on Tuesday. But I got four of the same frames. These remind me a lot of restoration hardware, and I want to do something 
in the master with those. And then I picked up this amazing, they double bagged it, of course. Hold on. This amazing crystal that is going to be set on the coffee table. Let me put this down and show you guys. Hold on. So, so nice. I feel like the camera does it no justice, but it's gorgeous. So, I'm going to put that on either the coffee table or the entry table. And then I saw this piece. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but it reminds me of Restoration 2. I don't know if it's going to go on the entry or what. I don't know. I thought it was cool when I was there, but I'm going to keep the receipt because I'm not sure about it. It was $24.99, which is not bad. So if you've seen pieces like this at Restoration, you guys know they go for a lot more. And then I showed you guys this in store. I'm a hot mess, literally, hold on. I picked it up for the kitchen, I really liked it, and for $7.99 for marble, I thought that was a really good pickup. And then lastly, I got those ginger jars. So once I decorate everything, I will show you guys, but that is going to conclude today's shopping trip. I feel like, let me see. Yeah, hot mess, express, kitchen needs to be organized, um, literally, <laughs> I just ran in from outside from the rain, it is so muggy, I'm tired, I feel like I look it, but whatever, I hope you guys enjoyed, again, looking in the viewfinder, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and hopefully there will be more soon, there was just some crazy lightning, so hopefully there will be more soon um and yeah comment down below what piece was your favorite and hopefully you guys subscribe if you aren't already so stay tuned for more vlogs and if you guys want to keep up with me on a daily basis follow me on instagram